What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now with just a few days left before Warcraft Direct, we are really at kind of a crossroads. People are really speculating some wild things that could potentially be announced at Warcraft Direct, but I have a pretty good understanding of what I think is going to be announced at Warcraft Direct based on some leaks and some images and some hints that we've been getting. And I wanna get into that in this video with you guys. So without further ado, Let's dive in. So let's go over the facts, right? We have Warcraft Direct coming up on November 13th, which is next Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, actually. It's gonna be a live stream and it's kind of replacing BlizzCon this year. It's supposed to be this like Warcraft world live stream where they talk about anything and everything Warcraft, not World of Warcraft, just Warcraft. It's not World of Warcraft Direct, it's Warcraft Direct. Now, leading up to this, we've had some serious speculation from myself, other creators, people in the community, just random players in general, and then some other companies started chiming in as well. And that's one of the first things that I want to show you guys here is the other day, Secret Labs, the gaming chair company, posted this. It was a video over on Twitter, but I took a screenshot to show you guys of these two new chair skins that they're releasing on November 8th, which was actually yesterday. Um, and it appears to be a Wrath of the Lich King themed chair skin and a Burning Crusade Illidan themed chair skins. And then on top of that, Blizzard tweets, you know, five days until Warcraft Direct with, you know, the Twitch logo, YouTube, TikTok, and a picture of Illidan Stormrage, right? Which is obviously people think of the Burning Crusade immediately. As soon as you see that, you think of Burning Crusade, right? Um, so, you know, why would they be doing this kind of stuff? People are thinking, oh, maybe we're getting a TBC Fresh, Wrath of the Lich King and TBC Era servers. I want to talk about all of this and figure out exactly like what we really have some some hard evidence of, right? So we're going to have to start with the basics and the basics are what do we have currently going on in World of Warcraft, right? We have The War Within, which is the retail expansion uh, that just recently came out a couple of months ago. We have World of Warcraft Classic Era, which is World of Warcraft Classic 2019 Classic in its final phase state. We have World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore, which are the Hardcore One Life servers. We have Self-Found and Regular Hardcore. We have World of Warcraft Season of Discovery, which is classic with a little bit of a twist. It's basically like playing Cataclysm or Wrath of the Lich King, but in the vanilla universe. It's kind of weird, but it is good fun for what it's worth. And then we have World of Warcraft Classic Cataclysm going on as well with the recent launch of the Firelands Raid. So we have five versions of World of Warcraft going on currently. So for the speculation of possible TBC Fresh servers or TBC Era servers, this is what I was kind of hoping for leading up to this. I was, uh, I'm a big advocate of progression servers, right? Having like a vanilla server, a TBC server, and a Wrath server, each with their own single Era server. And then some kind of like repeating fresh, right? Like vanilla goes fresh, then it leads into TBC again, then it leads into Wrath. At the end of each of those, you have a choice to keep your character on TBC era or vanilla era or, you know, clone it and send it to the next one. And then at the end of that cycle of a couple of years or whatever, you get to restart fresh all over again. Now, this seems like a pretty good idea for Blizzard, right? It's very minimal work. All of this has already been done. It can pretty much be automated. So you start to think to yourself, okay, well, why aren't they doing this? There's plenty of people who aren't subbed right now that would sub to play one of their favorite expansions, right? The original trilogy is most people's favorite, aside from retail players. So that is an option, and I'm not taking that completely off the table, especially with this marketing material that's been coming out. Everything is surrounding, you know, Illidan and Wrath of the Lich King, all this stuff. So there is, a, in my opinion, a pretty decent chance that we get some form of TBC Wrath of the Lich King content or maybe era servers. People have been crying for them for quite a long time, including myself. So it's definitely possible that that's what we get. But is it really that possible when you think about how much is going on currently? We have Season of Discovery with Phase 6 dropping in the next month. Uh, apparently, a couple more phases coming for Season of Discovery is what we're told. Now, in my opinion, I don't really know if it would be healthy to release something like that, at least right now, because what's going to happen is it's most likely going to pull players from Cataclysm, most likely going to pull players from Season of Discovery. So it's, it's kind of hard with all of these versions currently out that people are playing. You really have to sit here and think like, are they like intentionally killing certain versions of the game to hype up other versions? Do they 
not care about Season of Discovery anymore? Or do they care about Season of Discovery still? And this is all speculation and that's not what's coming. Many people think that we're going to be getting a Classic Plus announcement or like a teaser trailer or something saying Classic Plus is coming in 2026 or whatever that may be too. That is like on the lowest of my list of things that I think could potentially be announced. Um, I'd be very shocked actually if they did uh, show some kind of teaser for Classic Plus. But I think that that is such a long ways off that I'm not really 100% sure if that is going to be talked about at least right now. We know it's probably coming in the future, but there's even some speculation there from me saying, I don't know if that's really actually going to come now that I've seen everything that happened with Season of Discovery and how people still just want Vanilla Fresh, TBC Fresh, and Wrath Fresh. Would Classic Plus come out and it's so different than the original Vanilla that people play it for six months just like Season of Discovery and then instantly want to go back to regular Vanilla again? There's really high chances of that happening, and let me know if you think I'm wrong down in the comments, but I really feel like that's the way this player base works. And it just seems like there's so much going on that I can't really sit here and imagine that they're going to announce a new big project or anything that's coming out in the near future, right? The next couple of months. They may announce like we're getting some, you know, vanilla TBC Wrath era servers or progression servers coming in like March, April, the, you know, the spring maybe. Uh, but to release that right now, it's kind of crazy to me because I know for a fact that if they did that, they would it would just completely kill Season of Discovery. Um, and I'm not 100% sure if that's what they want to do. I wouldn't say that it's impossible. They may have, you know, thought about it and been like, you know, Season of Discovery ran its course. And, you know, maybe it's time for us to move on and just give players what they want, right? We know that in China, Classic is exploding at the moment. Like, it, it is ridiculous. It, like... It's doing so well that maybe they just want to follow that same model over here, right? So we don't really know that, but we do know the facts. We know the versions of the game that are currently out. We have the hints or the marketing that they're using, very Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King themed. Um, so that's a little little sus to me right there. Like maybe they are going to announce something like that. It would be pretty cool. A lot of people think we're maybe getting like a hardcore fresh which in my opinion, I've never been on this train. I do love hardcore, it's a lot of fun, but I don't really see the need for a fresh hardcore server unless it's changing something else. Um, so that's at the bottom of my list. I would say that if I had to give my like opinion on what exactly I think Warcraft Direct is gonna be about, I think we're gonna talk about retail quite a bit. I think we may talk about uh, Mop Classic uh, coming out in the, in the near future. Uh, because we know that that's coming, right? There's been data mines of mounts and things like that. And possibly some future, you know, new content for Season of Discovery. Now, that is the more realistic expectation. Now, what do I want them to talk about? I love a Classic Plus teaser or trailer. I'd love for them to announce vanilla TBC Wrath, like connected progression servers with an era server tied to each one. That'd probably be my top choice. I think that that would be fantastic and it would give people a home. You know, there's so many people who want to just play Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King. Um, and it would give that them players a choice and they wouldn't have to ever unsub. If they feel like playing Wrath for two years and then sticking on the era server or playing forever, they can, right? Um, so it kind of seems like a no-brainer, especially with the fact, you know, coupled with the fact that it's really could be just automated. There, there would be no, um, like, really little, very little to no maintenance on something like that. So I think that that is probably the highest... Uh, possibility of something coming but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below we only have a few days left and then we're going to actually find out we're going to be streaming warcraft direct live over on twitch we're going to be watching the whole thing together and breaking down everything uh that they announce or talk about you know possibly some rts stuff warcraft uh 2 remastered we saw some leaks about that maybe we're gonna they're gonna talk about a warcraft 4 who knows a new rts game maybe a new mobile game uh but it is warcraft direct it's not world of warcraft direct so I have a feeling, uh, you know, people who are setting their expectations really, really high for Classic may be discouraged after Warcraft Direct, but I hope that I'm wrong. Uh, I'm just personally trying to not get myself super hyped about it because right now I'm enjoying Hardcore. We have OnlyFangs starting up soon, um, but I would love to see Classic get some love 
for the uh, you know Warcraft 30th anniversary. It would be it would be absolutely awesome. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I want to hear all of your theories. What do you guys think? That they're going to talk about and yeah follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash hammerdance link in the description we're going to be watching it live over on twitch on november 13th warcraft direct is going to be uh interesting to say the least i think it's going to be a good time and uh, i can't wait to see what they uh talk about and announce and we're gonna we're gonna dive into it together so that's gonna be a lot of fun so if you guys enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time i post a video and we've been running some hardcore tournaments. Last night we ran a race to Rage Fire Chasm. Uh, it was a lot of fun. The signups are on my Discord. We're running a race to Dead Mines, I think, on November 29th. So go sign up for that on the Discord if you want. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I'll see you all in the next one.